Probably you know some Linux commands, but when it comes to all the options, flags that can be used with the command itself, it's getting confusing and overwhelming. But don't worry, because you're not alone. For example, this Reddit user who claims he or she is one of the maintainers of LD command, but doesn't even know all the options to that command. Or this guy who has been sysadmin for over 20 years and doesn't know most of the commands. This is pretty common and there is nothing wrong with that. They keep adding new stuff faster than you learn it. However, you just need to have some knowledge to know how to properly read commands man page. Of course, you can ask Google or you can even ask LLM models to provide exact set of commands you need. Nowadays, it's so easy to find what you want on the internet. And probably when you open any man page, you see there are a lot of options and flags as well as some details which make it overwhelming and you just close it. But if you are someone who works as a sysadmin, DevOps, SRE, or whatever you call it, you should be able to read and understand man pages because there could be situations or systems where you don't have access to the internet. You need to find out what you want through man pages. Besides that, reading a man page is an art. First, I'm gonna show you one great tool which will make your life easier. It is called TLDR or TLDR. Anyway, this project is a collection of community maintained help pages for command line tools, aka it's a copy of man pages but in a simplified way. You can install it using Node.js client, Python client, Rust client, etc. Basically many operating systems support it. I have already installed it on my Mac, so let's try and see how it works. For example, we want to look for tar command. We usually do man tar and it gives some bunch of stuff which are pretty important by the way, but it doesn't need to be so confusing. And most of the time, we just want to see real examples. In that case, we're gonna do tldr tar. So I'm gonna use tldr then tar. This looks very beautiful. It is simple, easy to read. I mean, look at all this highlighting, all the colors. It just looks great. It even gives you some hints to remember the options. For example, let's take this one. It says list, T for the list, the contents of a tar file, F for the file, verbosely, V for the verbals. So it's gonna be tar, T, V, F. I can give you another example. For some reasons, I always forget options for journal CTL. Also, I use it a lot. I just type tldr journal ctl, press enter, and it gives me most common practical examples, which is really, really great. Now you may ask, okay, this is great tool, but what if I really wanted to read man page? So let's say you log in one of your production machines and there you don't have tldr utility. It is restricted to install due to some security reasons, company policies, or for whatever reason. Now let me give you a few examples that can be helpful to search through man page. Let's take tar command again. Well, first of all, before opening any man page, I will recommend to use help option. Most of the commands have this option available. For example, I'm gonna type tar dash dash help. It will give you options with a few words. If you don't find what you want from help page, then you can check man page. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type man tar. Now we are inside man page. You can use your mouse to scroll forward or backward, but you can also do it by typing J for forward or K for the backward. Small G will take you to the first line and the capital G will take you to the last line. To search some text inside man page, type forward slash and the string that you want to search. For example, I want to search extract, so I'm gonna type forward slash and then extract, and then I'm gonna hit enter. So this gives me the first hit. To go to the next hit, you just need to type n, the small n. For the previous hit, type capital N. For page down, we're gonna use control F. For page up, we're gonna use control B. If you are a Vim user, most probably you already realized you also use these key bindings in Vim. Well, this is not surprising because man uses default pager, which probably is less, and the Vim key bindings. So if you learn Vim key bindings, 
then you will easily able to use man pages. And I assure you that you will find Vim key bindings almost everywhere. I have two resources, which in my opinion are great ones. The first one is Vim cheat sheet. It's called vim.rtorr.com. It almost provides everything about Vim. So you can see all the key bindings here. And then we have another resource, which is really fun. It's called Vim Adventures. The website is called vim-adventures.com. It's a fun website that is using Snake Game to teach you Vim key bindings. It's pretty fun, you can check it out. So I think that's it from my side. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks to use MAM pages effectively.